<laughs> you are so cute. It's not even fair. I had a horrible sleep last night. Let me shut the sound machine off. <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? That's mommy's camera. I thought that I would record a morning routine. He did sleep in a little bit this morning. So it's like 7.30. And I always keep some toys. So I always keep some baby toys like in a little caddy by my bed because when he wakes up, I always hand him a toy and he just plays for like 10 minutes in my bed. That way I can just kind of lay here. I can scroll on my phone for a second, but I can also just kind of like doze in and out of sleep for like literally five minutes. And then we gotta get up, so. We're just playing. Um. But welcome to my morning routine with an eight month old. It has three teeth poking through. <laughs> what are you doing? He has three teeth coming in at the same time. So you can only imagine how last night's sleep went. It's not time to eat. But we're gonna get up and get the day started, huh? You get a big yawn. Yeah. That's a beautiful story. And a beautiful boy. These Christmas jammies that he has on are like buttery soft. I don't I'll have to show you in better lighting. They're buttery soft and they're from Target and they are they are the Cat and Jack brand, and they are from the toddler section, and you're not a toddler. You're not supposed to be that big yet. Look at the Christmas tree. Usually bring him out here first thing in the morning and I sit him right here to play rest long enough for me to make the bed and do my skincare and then I come back out here and get him also very important thing my coffee machine takes like 30 minutes to heat up properly so I always heat that up as soon as we get up I really do to my face first thing in the morning is I I usually will like wipe it down with um, a microfiber cloth like this one and um, I have this cleanser that I use it's just like a micellar water if I didn't take my makeup off because sometimes that happens now I used to never do that before I was a mom and now I'm like so tired that I've done it a few times but I like to just like freshen up my face and then I put a moisturizer and under eye cream and just me leaves my face like kind of shiny and makes me feel refreshed. I brush my hair and that's about it. And I always put in my gold hoop earrings, which by the way, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I think this is like my third or fourth video with them. Um, but I wear these hoops probably in every single video you guys have seen recently. Um, or over the last few months, I've always had these hoops in and then my daily ring stack that I wear is from them, but they did send me some new pieces for this video and one of their new campaigns that they're doing, so I'm excited to talk to you guys about that later in this video, but anyways, let's go make breakfast. I do try to make my bed every day, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. jug 
I'm always so stinking tired from tired and thirsty from the night before just like breastfeeding and right now we are teething so we're up a lot at night so I always need lots of water first thing in the morning to kind of revive my soul um, and turn all the lights on and we got to let Bean out to go potty because he's been in bed hello are you just playing yeah <laughs> Okay, gentle, gentle, good boy. Let's go party. Come on, let's go party. I always like to fill my diffuser in my kitchen first thing in the morning. Um, I just feel like it sets me up for a better headspace for the rest of the day because my house smells clean and fresh and it kind of wakes me up a little bit um and then I start making breakfast so I we do baby led weaning so basically it's solid foods instead of pure A's he's been loving food and I make us breakfast every day I just make our breakfast at the same time it's so perfect and easy and he plays while I do that and then I typically will make my coffee and stuff and as I'm doing all of this, I'm trying to sip this whole water down. <sighs> I feel like I used to be so good about drinking water and then I became a mom. And I know that I used that excuse for so many things, but like, it just makes you forget sometimes to do the simple things like drink water and take care of yourself. my hands now because I just had to take a brief diaper change break. I'm just making breakfast and all of a sudden I see my friend. How did she get over here? He's a crawling man these days. I cannot believe it but he learned how to crawl this weekend and he just haven't stopped since. together and for us to rest well and for my teeth to feel better. Amen. Alright, let's eat some breakfast. I just finished up my portion of breakfast so now he's gonna have his nice. I'll show you guys. He loves raspberries. More? You gotta bite it. Good job. Okay, so since he's wrapping up breakfast, I can finally make some coffee. With these raspberries, sometimes I just peel them in half with my finger, but he's been doing really good with the whole raspberries lately. So we're just finishing up our raspberries and then Mama can have some coffee. He's getting a little bit fussy because I need to give him some milk um, and play with him before his nap, but I always try to clean up our breakfast mess like right away. This is a board game that Austin left out last night, but I try to clean it up right away. Clean up this mess, so 
this side of the sink is ready to go in the dishwasher. I do that every night and um, I just have to unload this really quickly. I try to clean the kitchen every night before bed. Um, that way it's less messy when I wake up to do all of this because as you can see, just from us doing breakfast, it can make quite a mess. <laughs> Net for some reason is like one of his favorite toys, but I just got him dressed in this cozy outfit. It's nice and warm. Oh, bless you! And now I'm gonna sip my coffee. I usually sip my coffee while I feed him his first morning feed. So I think I'm gonna do that in here in his room because we moved our recliner from the living room into his room temporarily to make room for the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna sit in here and feed him and probably try to read a little bit on my of my book that I started and then we'll read books together and play for a little bit before he goes down for his nap but he's acting really sleepy today let me go grab my coffee he's acting very sleepy compared to normal so it may it may be a little bit different today he may go down earlier we've had some milk we've had some playtime fresh diaper we're gonna chill just for a minute to calm him down before his nap. And I'm gonna read him a quick book. Baby is finally down for his nap. I'm gonna get ready for the day really quick. I have my little makeup basket here. Um, so, typically on a normal morning, I will either get ready during this nap or his second nap, and it kinda just depends on when I plan on doing my workout. And tonight, I'm planning on working out this evening because it'll just be so much easier with all the things I have to do today, because Austin will be home. He can hang out with Bellamy. Um, I can just do a longer workout with no interruptions. So I'm gonna get ready now. That way I can be nice and dressed and just feel good about my day and kind of less tempted to crawl back in bed because mama is dragging. Coffee. Talk to you guys real quick about today's video sponsor, Anna Luisa. I'm so excited to be partnering with them again. I've done several videos in the past with them. You guys see me wear their jewelry all the time. These are some of the older pieces that I've had for over a year. Um, I actually wear this gold band, this twisted one, instead of my engagement ring because now that I have a baby, my engagement ring was scratching him a lot. I still have it and I'll wear it on date nights and stuff, but this one's just smoother. It's still great quality. It's beautiful and I just feel like it's a better alternative until he's a little bit bigger and I'm not as worried about scratching him. I've been wearing this little lock necklace. You guys have actually asked me about this on Instagram. It's such a simple but also like statement piece. I feel like gold is very trendy right now, which I'm thankful for because I've always been a gold girl. This beautiful little simple ring. Um, I love that there's like no bling on it. It's just like a little simple gold ring. Um, this one I've had for years. This one I've also had for years that I have the matching earrings on. And I'll show you some of the newer pieces that I got. Right now from November 18th until the 29th, they're doing their biggest sale of the year, which is buy one, get one 60% off. So you could get yourself something and get something for someone else. 60% off, you guys, is a huge, huge deal, especially for the quality of their jewelry pieces. I'm telling you, if you are a lazy girl like me and you shower with all of your jewelry on, you wanna have good quality jewelry. I shower with all of my jewelry on and it never tarnishes. They look just as great as they did when I first got them. They have some pieces starting as low as $39 and for the quality, that is an incredible price. Ana Luisa is 100% carbon and water neutral. They really care about the impact they're gonna leave on the environment with their pieces and their production. I really like to support brands that are ethical in the way that they produce things and the way that they make things and that they care about more than just making money. They have great values as a company as a whole, not to mention how stinking cute the jewelry is that they make. If you get on their website, you can actually go to About Us 
and it'll have a whole slew of things about them. Um, you can read their journey, their jewelry, their people, and their planet, and I think that that's super, super helpful to know before you support a company. I'll show you some close-ups of the pieces that I got, but one more thing before I'm done talking about them. They come in these really beautiful and high-quality magnetic jewelry bag so if you want to bring your jewelry on the go if you're traveling and you want to pack it up without tangling your necklaces in your suitcase you have little pouches that your jewelry was already shipped to you in which i just think is a great deal and a great way to care for such good quality jewelry so thank you anna luisa for partnering with me today i will roll some footage right here of the beautiful pieces that they sent me do not forget to click the link in the description box to check out their pieces and shop their black friday sale um, so I'm going to start getting ready because I am looking quite a mess. Okay, no joke, you guys. My makeup routine takes me maybe four minutes. I'm just gonna add a few curls to my hair, just some really loose ones to give it some some kind of pizzazz. Doing like a quick 10, 20 minute get ready. We'll put on some comfy clothes and then we gotta go out and clean up the mess from kit the mess in the kitchen. I always, always clean up the mess from breakfast. Um literally if I don't it upsets me because we spend a lot of our day in the kitchen. I think the kitchen is the heart of the home. If it's messy, I just get really stressed out. It only takes like 10 minutes to clean up the kitchen, so it's always worth it. And I try to do that and I'll listen to like some worship music while I clean or a podcast if I have an episode to listen to, which I think I do today. This is a typical mom outfit for me, I guess, like what I mean by putting on real clothes. So I have on this button up, it's like a collared cropped super super soft cozy sweater it's from the wild fable brand at target just put this on with some jeans if you even if you even can call these jeans because they're like the stretchy legging kind um and then i always have my Ana luisa gold jewelry on that's what i mean guys about their jewelry it's so simple and dainty that like you can wear it with an everyday outfit but you can also use it to dress up your other outfits i'm gonna set a timer for you guys to show you just how quickly you can clean up your kitchen. to unload my dishwasher, load my dishwasher, clean my sink, wipe my counters, and mop the floor. Almost 12 minutes. So that's really not that bad. Now for the time in my morning routine to actually spend time by myself. I would like to eventually get to the point where I'm waking up before, before the baby, but right now sleep is so rough um, with his teeth that I just can't physically muster the energy to get up before him, so I'm gonna go sit on the couch and do my quiet time. getting in such a good nap this morning. I needed that, he needed that. Um, 
it was definitely an answered prayer but this study has been so good i actually touched on it in my last vlog and i addressed what has happened like with faith friday videos if you guys missed that and you want to catch up it's like in the first 10 minutes of the last vlog um but it's just been so good for my heart especially in this season of life that i'm in um this study is all about spiritual disciplines i can show you again what study i'm doing it is Growing in Grace Through Spiritual Disciplines um, by the Daily Grace Co. I absolutely love all of their studies and decos. Um, but I just read Matthew 22, 36 through, 40, through verse 40. And it says, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great commandment. This is the great and first commandment. And second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and all the prophets. Um, and it's just like such a simple reminder. I love how Jesus always kind of just gets to the point. Like he always is like, no, it's literally this. This is what I came to do. This is my purpose. Like he's very straightforward. And um, I really love that we are called to love him and love each other and loving him looks like serving him and becoming more obedient to him and allowing him to work in our hearts and soften us each day and it's kind of hard for me sometimes because i feel like i'm an all-out person like i want to just i want to love god with all my heart all my soul and all my mind and i want to be so dedicated and have my life be the most reflective of that and that it can be but that's not going to be an instantaneous thing it's a process of sanctification again um and a process of him working in my heart and working in my life and showing me the ways that i can surrender more of my life more of my time more of my mind and my heart to him and i can't just do that all overnight but the more that i show up and the more that i'm willing to allow him to work in my heart the more that he will and i just that I really like that and that's pretty encouraging to me. It makes a huge difference in my day and I'm really thankful to be getting back to spending physical time in the Word every day. And since he is still asleep, I typically just spend right now doing like a speed clean and writing my to-do list for the rest of the day, um, making sure I have everything kind of, you know, set out and ready can be as successful as I possibly can. I find that planning and like <laughs> planning ahead and having an idea for the day, I'm much more likely to actually get things done and feel more proud and accomplished. I'm going to clean up the living room and then honestly, that's probably going to conclude my morning routine because then it'll be afternoon probably by the time that he wakes up from this nap and we'll start the rest of our day and um, I'm just going to end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and um, got something useful out of it to see a realistic day in my life, uh, a realistic morning routine as a mama. Sometimes it's more chaotic, sometimes it's less chaotic, but today was a pretty good, happy day. Um, and thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out their Black Friday sale. It's a huge deal. Buy one, get one 60% off their entire website. So I will leave a link in the description box for you guys um, to shop their website and check out some of their pieces. And make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.